Okay, so before we start with the actual review of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Block Collection, um, I'm just going to explain my face. Okay, so before I get into the vault collection, I'm just going to um, point out one thing. The reason my makeup, I'm just going to let y'all know the reason my makeup isn't finished is because I'm going to try some of the eyeshadows out and um, do a look with it so that I can give it a good review or whatever, so that I can give it an appropriate review with my thoughts. So, let's get right into it. Okay, so I have opened this i received it in just like a regular shipping box a small box it comes in a box like this with some bubble wrap and then the vault looks like this all four of the palettes are right here and if you can tell there's this little string that you pull out and then they come out so um the names are here so that you can kind of tell what you're grabbing that way you're not just, because they all kind of look similar. And I know that the decoration there all has like a different tint so that it kind of goes along with the palette theme. The way I do like that, I can, from the outside of this, I can tell exactly which one I'm going to choose. We're going to start with the Ring the Alarm palette. Each palette comes with, you know, the little plastic slip that falls out. So here's this palette. This is the Ring the, Ring the Alarm palette. It's more of like the orangey warm tone palette. The first thing I notice here is this gold. This one is Lolly. This one is Rush. This one's on camera. Boom, and then Alert. When I was swatching them, they swatched very well. Um, the mattes sw swatched well, swatch well as well. The first one here, starting with Bomb. Second being Siren. And then that middle shade there is Mugshot. Then we have Framed and Secret. Now in the Armed and Gorgeous palette, this is more of the like yellow and green tones. I have swatched the first row here. I hope you all can see this. Um, the shimmery white shade there is VIP. The yellow shade is Access. Guilt Trip, Coin, and Agent. Coin is a very unique color here. It almost looks gold, and then you look at a different angle, and it's like this very neon green yellow shade, and I really like that. And then here's the second row. The green shade is Top Secret. The second one is Smooth Criminal. The third one is Secure. Prowl and Classified. Next is the Bling Boss palette, which is the more purple tone palette. Mauve, cool tone, and then the purples. Um, there are a few warm tones, but they're also cool tones. And if you know Jaclyn Hill, she doesn't really do cool tones. So I think it is good that she brought in her horizons and put in the cool tones, although she may not like it her the customers will. This first one here is Bling Bling. The second one is Hush Hush. The very pretty purple is Gem. The next one is Pizzazz. And the last one is Mystic. And here's the bottom row of the Bling Boss palette. And very shade there is called Sparks. The next one is Glitz and Glam. The third one is Rockstar. The fourth one is Ballsy. That one there. These two here are similar, but I can guarantee you they're not the same. This one here is more champagne. This one here has got a more purple mauve undertone. And the last one is called Berry Treasure. It's a black shade with red and pink flecks in it. Now we have the last palette. It is called dark magic it's more blue green and dark as it says here are the swatches of that this first one here you can barely even see on my skin tone because i am so fair but it's this one here called poof so that first one there is poof the second one is power cut then shh 
Then the green shade is Trickery. And then the last one is Diversion. And here is the bottom row. And I believe these swatched wonderfully. Um, the first four here are mattes. And this last one is a matte. But it does have some flecks in it. Of almost like a blue or green. Even purple tone shimmers. Uh, this black shade here is matte. But it does have some flecks of like a blue, green, or purple shimmer in it. So the names of these are Potion, Busted, Inside Job, Mojo, and Temptress. This palette has a total of six matte shades. Then these two and this one here are um, considered shimmers. And this black one I wouldn't necessarily consider a shimmer, but it does have some sparkle to it. So that sums up all of the swatches of the palettes. My overall review of the swatches is good. I mean, a few of them didn't swatch as pigmented, but I think it was because they were pressed a little harder. So, you know, it may take you a while to build it up, but, but I think it's still good quality, so we will see. So I have put on my foundation and that's it. I haven't concealed because I normally conceal after my eye look because I don't want to conceal and set everything before um, I've done my eyes and wrist fallout going on my perfect concealer so I think today I'm just gonna do a look maybe I'm not choosing just from one palette today I'm just gonna try, try to choose a few different um, shades from each palette that way I can give a full review of the palettes in general versus one or the other and then I want to do a separate video on each palette like a look with the Armed and Gorgeous, and then a look with the um, Dark Magic, and then a look with the other two, um, and make it its own video. So this is like the unboxing swatch initial review, and then I'm going to go um, the other four videos. It'll kind of be like my series, and I will do more in-depth tutorials. And we're going to get started on the eyes. So. I think what I'm going to do, well, if I can find my, normally what I'll do is I will conceal my, um, well, I'll prime my eyelids with a concealer, and I'm kind of, I kind of have a dilemma. Jaclyn Hill has been the person I watched on YouTube since, I mean, I was in like eighth grade, and that's been seven years ago so I mean she's been on YouTube I think seven or eight years so I've watched her for quite a while I've watched her I mean at least six years um and she she sets with some type of powder before she starts with her eyeshadow whether that be a neutral eyeshadow um a skin toned eyeshadow translucent powder face powder she will always set her eye normally before she I've never seen her not set it before she goes in with um, eyeshadow, but I also watch Nikki tutorials. I've I've not been, I've not watched her for years and years. I've watched her for maybe, maybe two years, maybe a year. Um, but she has wonderful technique and she's a good artist as well. And she doesn't set normally. She doesn't set her eyelid. Um, but I, in my personal opinion. That takes a very talented um, person, very crafty person, because when you don't set first, then the shadows can become patchy, um, less blendable, but it can make the whole, if you do it perfectly like Nikki Tutorials does, then it can make the whole look amazing. So I think I want to go on the safe side and set in my eyes before I start. I'm just going to use this banana powder here in the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. And you want to make sure there's no crease in whatever you are using to prime your eyes. You just want to make sure it's not creased before you set it because then the creases will be set in. And I don't know if I like the lighting. I don't know. It's looking yellow. Whew, okay. Well, 
I'm going to use my big old blending brush. It is the Morphe M504 brush. And I want to go into dark. And I want to go into dark magic here. And I'm going to use this first shade. I believe it's poof. Yep. I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to blend it in my crease just to kind of start things out on a neutral way because I don't have a clue at all what I'm going to do. Okay, next I think I'm just going to take a tad bit of Busted here. Oh, I hate this lighting. Next, I'm going to take a tad bit of Busted, which is this blue shade, which is the blue shade in the Dark Magic palette. I'm just, I'm just ever so slightly taking it on this big brush. And with a very light hand, I'm just going to try to blend this pretty, pretty much all in my crease. Look, the blue that I'm using here on my eye today is more of like an aqua with like green undertones maybe. And I feel like it looks better on me. So I'm just going to just blend this out until I can't anymore. Next, using the Morphe M506 brush. It's a, it's a blending brush and it's way smaller than the one that I was just using. If you can tell here, I'm about to use this one, and I was using this one. I think I'm going to take a little bit of this shade here from the Dark Magic Palette, and it's called Potion. It's like a poopy green, and I'm just going to focus this directly in the crease, right under the top of the blue. I just basically want to blend that green out into the blue so that there aren't any harsh lines and that they kind of just blend together. Next, using my Tarte um, Creaseless Concealer and this Morphe M421 brush, I'm just going to carve out my lid. Sorry, I ran out of storage. Anyways, I was concentrating really hard, so I don't really know what all y'all saw and what you didn't, but right now you're looking at a halfway done cut crease. So I'm going to, I don't know if you heard me say this, the Morphe, 4, the Morphe M421 brush, I'm just going to carve out my lid here, and I'm using the Creaseless Concealer by Tarte, and I don't know if I like it for this. Very sticky. It's hard to blend. Now with that same brush, I have cleaned it off and I'm gonna dip into coin here. I'm just gonna pack this all over my lid. I might need a bigger brush in a second a minute. This is the Morphe M167 brush. I'm gonna try it. I'm going to try it now to pack on the shade because the other brush is a little too small, in my opinion, for packing the shade on. By the way, this pigment here is without any fray. Nothing's on my brush. Nothing's helping it stick except for the um, concealer. Okay, so now I just spray the brush. I'm not sure if that's going to make it. Yep. The thing that I really love doing when I'm cutting my crease is after I finish the lid, I want to go back in like with one of the shades on the in the crease in this very small BH Cosmetics number 12 brush. And I just kind of like to go around what I just did to kind of add some more definition. So now I'm going to do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I accidentally started on my lower lash line off camera. So let's see. Here, okay. 
So what I did so far, I got this brush here. It's just a, it's by ABH. And I got Potion on the stuffy end of it. And I blended it under my eye. And I just want to kind of blow this out pretty thick since this is a dramatic look. I like blowing out the lash line in dramatic looks because it really um, can put the look together. Then I want to take Trickery, this shade here, this darker green, and with the same brush, I'm just going to kind of smudge this like over here in the outer corner the bottom lash line and kind of bring it down. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with the shade here, VIP. And this is in the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm just using a Morphe M213 brush and I'm just going to pop this right on the inner corner here. I saw her use this shade over and over and over again and I love it so much. I could not wait to use it myself. Then take a little bit more of that and just kind of pop it under my eyebrows. So my bronzer and how well my contour bronzer highlight, all that is done. I still have to contour my nose. So, so I'm going to go back in with my BH Cosmetics palette in this first contour shade there. And just a blending brush and I'm just going to contour my nose. And that's kind of harsh. So what I'm going to do next is just take my foundation brush and kind of dab over top. And then with a dry beauty sponge and my banana powder, I'm going to go right down the center of my nose to kind of lighten it back up. Now I'm going to highlight my face using the shade Trixie in the BH Cosmetics Festival Palette. I'm using the Morphe M510 brush and I'm just going to hit it with some um, spray and I'm going to pop that right on top of my cheekbone. And do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to mix Trixie, what I just used, with um, Jaclyn Hill's VIP, the very white shade. And I'm going to bring this down the center of my nose. And then I want to go in again with that foundation brush and kind of just kind of smooth this out a little bit. And with those two mixed again, I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow. I love it. Next, I'm going to line my lips with this Revlon lip liner. Now with this Tarte lip paint in Exposed, I almost forgot my bottom mascara. Mm -mm -mm. Here. So guys, this is the finished look. Use the Allure Exaggerate Lash in number 146, and they're more of a clumpy lash. But this is what I come up with. Um, technically, on my eyes, I only used five shades, and that's including the inner corner highlight. So, well, six because I used the dark green on the bottom. So, my overall opinion on the Jaclyn Hill bulk collection I would have to say um, honestly I would do a 10 out of 10 because um, I love it I have zero complaints I mean 
with all of the pack and the shimmer on the lid I hardly had any fallout but when you're gonna pack a shimmer on the lid you, you're gonna prepare for fallout with the best shadows and with the worst shadows you're gonna have to prepare for fallout um, I felt like some of the shadows were pressed pretty hard but they didn't give me a problem I don't find that a bad thing um, if anything it is a good thing because I can build it up that way because I am heavy handed, I don't go overboard with um, just like one touch in the shade. And that's not all of them, it's just f a few of them. Um, but I feel like the pigment is 10 out of 10. I feel like the quality is 10 out of 10. I feel like the mattes are so creamy, and I feel like the shimmers are creamy too without having all the kickback. Um, overall, I really do honestly rate this a 10 out of 10. I love Jacqueline Hill. And um, I loved her first palette, and I love these. So I do plan on doing um, four more videos, like one dedicated to each of the palettes. Today I try to use from um, every palette in this one video so that it wouldn't be um, biased on one palette. So thank you all so much for watching. I enjoy doing this. I really enjoy tutorials. Um, they're a little longer, but that's okay, right? Um, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting four more videos in this little series. And I really do appreciate all of you for watching. Bye, y'all.